Good morning, everybody. Having a little bit of yogurt and granola for breakfast. Camped out on this Forest Service road. Nice and quiet. We're going kayaking today, I think. We'll see. I gotta go find a shower bad, though. So that's goal number one. Shower day. All right, let's get this day started. Lovely 70 degrees outside. Here's our camping spot last night. Some kind of lookout tower, maybe for forest fire or something. This is a Forest Service road here in Canada. We're just south of Whistler, like 10 miles or something. So let's go. Yes, sir. Get out, Storyteller Overland crew rolling through. I don't know who's in there. Gonna be hanging out with some of those guys at Burning Man soon here send on Ben. And I cannot believe how much snow is still up here in August. This is nuts. Fresh fruit over there. We're in Squamish, BC. We're about to roll out, heading towards Vancouver, heading towards the border. That's cool. This dude totally just biked from Florida down my way. So I guess he's got a long way to go. Said he's put 45,000 miles in that bike. I got myself a coffee up at uh, one of the Squamish coffee shops. We we're heading out of town. This is a gorgeous town. This is like one of the rock climbing capitals of the world, but I don't rock climb, so I'm gonna keep on going. We've officially made it to the rat race. Vancouver, British Columbia. Freaking crazy concrete jungle. Border. Getting close to the border. Bom bom bom. Wonder if we'll be able to cross through without getting searched and ripped apart. We'll find out. There we go. U.S. border. I mean, I don't look like a sketchy guy, right? I can't wait to get back to where the diesel is less than five dollars a gallon up here. I've been paying like eight fifty to nine fifty a gallon in Canada, so it ain't been cheap. So that'll be nice. I've been like waiting to fill up until I get across the border up here. It's a little bit of a wait, but you can see the border right around the corner up here. All right, here we go. See what happens. Afternoon. I was hoping I was gonna get you. Good. So you coming from Alaska? Yeah. How many days in transit? Uh, maybe seven now at this point. I believe I stopped in Whistler a couple days. Good times. Anyone with yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, nope. No, just myself. So you're a truck house life, huh? That's it. How many followers you got? I think 100,000 or close to. So you're over the 10 grand to get some money. Oh yeah, yeah I'm paying for diesel for sure. Or trying to. <laughs> uh, anything acquired while you're transit in the seven days? I uh, know, just the food the there. So you do That's this? it though. This wasn't yeah, a factor paint. Uh, no, you know, they made a, that's a wall dock conversion that is an RV company that took it and uh, did the paint job and put leather seats in it and all that stuff. So they're rare, but you can find them. What's it called? It's, a, it's called a wall dock conversion. You only know, made like 5,000. Yeah, it's like Centurion. Yeah, they're yeah. similar. Badass. And then you flat bedded it? Yep, yeah, exactly. Made a little more room. Can you get that thing off? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, just electric camper jacks. It's off in five minutes, you know. Hot damn. Yeah. I looked it up on YouTube. <laughs> right on. All right. Welcome, bro. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> That was my favorite border crossing guy in the world of all time. Extra cool. All right, pay attention so I'm gonna run over here. Sweet. Well, guess what? We're in the USA, baby. Woo! <laughs> all right. Yeah, I don't know where to go. I just need to go south. I know this. So anyway, we're in. Welcome to the USA. Well, guess what, everyone? We just made it through the US border from Canada, driving down from Alaska. So now we're in Blaine, Washington. So we're on our way to Discount Tire, where I've got those brand new 37 inch tires waiting for me, some bigger tires. We're putting them on first thing in the morning. Uh, it's all first come, first serve. So I'm just gonna camp in the parking lot. That way I'm first. 
This is gonna sound a little funny, but uh, the first thing I'm doing right now, I just got into Washington. I'm gonna go to Walmart and go buy a big freaking wooden baseball bat so I can knock someone out to try to break into the camper because I couldn't bring my gun across the border with me. So that's what I'm doing right now. So if you guys look back at my videos from last August or so, I did the same trip essentially. I drove from Alaska into the lower 48. And if you look at my video when I crossed the borderline into Seattle, I got down to the town of Tacoma and dried out my kayaking gear in the porch at a gas station, well lit, parked right up front. Someone freaking stole my dry suit four in the morning. I felt the camper shake and they took off with it and I ran after them across the parking lot in my freaking underwear and uh, they got away. Anyway, I'm not messing around this time. I'm not leaving my stuff outside and uh, I'm gonna go buy this baseball bat down here at Dick's Sporting Goods. So hopefully they got a nice wooden one. Woohoo! Guess what? The diesel's only four dollars forty-five cents a gallon. We're back in the USA, baby! Yeah! All right, we're here at Dick's Sporting Goods. Let's go get that baseball bat. <laughs> Check it out, America! I got myself basically the smallest baseball bat I could find. Lightweight aluminum, so I can swing it fast. It's the triple stripe. It's gonna be the triple strike if someone tries to break in here. Let me keep it right there. Just try me, man. Just try me. Swear to God. I also got bear spray right there, so I'm gonna spray you right in the face. We ain't messing around this time. Since I was driving from Alaska through Canada, uh, I couldn't bring my shotgun. I could have, but it would have been complicated. So we don't have that, but I've got bear spray and I got a baseball bat. It feels good. Okay, let's go. Pulling in to get some dinner. Guess where we're at. <laughs> my first five guys at the lower 48. So this joint is, I know it's fast food, but this is my favorite burger joint in the lower 48. Consistently my favorite burger joint. So let's go get it. Well, thank you. Oh yeah, check it, check it. Mm, look at that burger. Ain't that beautiful? Just stacked with every possible topping. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, in other crazy news, I was going to spend the night at a discount tire and be there first thing to put my tires on in the morning, and I just got a phone call from them, and I guess one of the tires, one of my four tires, has a bad beat in it. So they're having to order another tire, and they're gonna FedEx it for me, get, get it there as fast as they can, because they feel bad. But um, I basically stuck around Seattle area for three days waiting on the tire to come in. But uh, it's all good. Just gonna go kayaking. Tonight, we're camping at the good old Walmart. That's right. I tell you one thing, I sleep a lot better with that. <laughs> oh yeah, I break my coffee cup. It's some bear spray too. You do not want that stuff in your face, I guarantee it. Turn on some mood lighting, how about it? Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Ain't that nice? There's a nice vibe. Let's take a to wire this other side up over here. So I think at this point, I am going to do a little bit of research and uh, pick out my white water run that I'm gonna do tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go do the Sky Commerce River, pretty sure, but do some research and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody from the Walmart parking lot where I slept great actually, other than a really loud highway. So we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna get some groceries. And uh, we'll hit the road. All right, dude. We're leaving the uh, Walmart parking lot. We're heading towards Tumwater Canyon. Never paddled the Tumwater. Sounds big, sounds fun. It's near Leavenworth, Washington. And uh, it's supposed to be good camping out that way. So uh, let's go. Heading on Highway 2 East towards Leavenworth. It's the Sky Comish River. I wanted to paddle that, but apparently car theft is super bad, braking is super bad around here, so they said you can't leave anything in your vehicle. Oh, we're climbing Stevens Pass right now. The elevation's so high, we're actually getting up into the clouds up here. Man, it is foggy up here. <laughs> you can hardly see 100 feet in the middle of the day. The fog broke. Here we go, we're tum watering. Almost there.